At least an agreeable one. Enough of this talk. Let us return to the task at hand. Yes? I'd like to ask you something. So, full of questions, are you? <laughs> Is Flemeth really what she seems to be? <laughs> well, that depends, does it not? What does she seem to be? An old woman. <laughs> oh, she is certainly old. Have no mistake of that. Tell me, how much do you know of the tale? The one that the chastened still tell of my mother, to frighten them into obedience? I'm more interested in the truth. I can relay what Flemeth once told me herself, and you can decide whether or not tis the truth, if you desire. That sounds interesting. As the tale is sung by the bards, there was a time when Flemeth was young and beautiful. A fair lass in a land of barbarian men, the desire of any who saw her. Just how long ago is this? Many centuries. Before this land was even named Ferelden. The tales say that Flemeth fell in love with Osin the Bard and fled the castle of her husband, the dread Lord Conobar, and that he swore vengeance for her infidelity. In truth, my mother claims that twas Osin who was her husband, and Conobar the jealous Lord who looked on from afar. Lord Conobar approached young Osin and offered him wealth and power in exchange for his lovely wife. And Osin agreed. Seems like a fair deal. Aye, it was. It was Flemeth who suggested the arrangement in the first place. All would have been well had Lord Conobar kept his end of the bargain. But he was a foul man who bargained with coin he did not possess. Osin was led off to a field and slain, left for dead. Flemeth spoke to the spirits and learned of the deed and swore revenge. She spoke to spirits or demons? Spirits first, and twas they who slew Conobar. Flemeth did not turn to the demon until... much later. Lord Conobar's allies chased Flemeth, you see. Chased her to the wilds, and there she hid. There she found the demon, and he made her strong. The legends all speak of the great hero Cormac, he who defeated Flemeth and her great army when she invaded the Lowlands centuries later. All lies. Which she never invaded? Or he never defeated her? The truth of the matter is that there was never an invasion. As Flemeth tells it, the Chastened never raised an army under her banner and she never fought with any warrior named Excuse Cormac. Me. Cormac led a brutal civil war against his own people, and later claimed it was to vanquish evil that had taken root amongst the Lords. Thus, he was hailed a hero. Flemeth was only attached to the legend much later. Perhaps it was due to the great war with the Chastened that eventually came, but Mother claims not to know how it began. The legend tells of Flemeth having many daughters. You ask if I have sisters? I have asked of this myself. The stories tell of many witches of the wilds, after all, not just the one. And these tales existed long before I did. Flemeth refuses to speak of other daughters, if they existed. So, should I believe I am her first? I doubt that too. Why would she refuse to speak of them? The chastened tell of a falling out between Flemeth and her daughters. They say that one day she hunted them all through the wilds and ate their hearts. It may be true. I have never seen another witch or heard of one. Perhaps one day Flemeth will eat my heart as well. How is that Flemeth has survived for so long? The demon within her has transformed her into something else. An abomination, perhaps, some would say. I know not. I only know my mother is clever, and she is part of the wilds as it is part of her. But she is no immortal. She bleeds. A blade in her heart would kill her like any other, were it lucky enough to find her. An interesting story, thank you. Flemeth tells it with far more embellishment than I, but you are welcome. Dare I ask of your own mother? 
Few are abominations of legend, it is true, but I find myself curious nevertheless. I love her. What else do you want to know? I... nothing. I wish to know nothing more. I find myself a little envious, to tell the truth. But it matters not. Let us move on. Yes? We are I'd like to discuss something so personal. It is as good a time as any. Kiss her. What's this? <laughs> it is a rather odd discussion you seem to desire, leaning in so closely. Humor me. Oh, it's humor you desire. Hmm? I didn't realize comedy had anything to do with this. Only if we do it wrong. How true. Let us do it right, then. Yes? I'd like to ask you something. So, full of questions, are you? <laughs> Tell me, are you really Flem's daughter? I assume you were actually asking whether Flemeth herself gave birth to me. Truly, I do not know. I once asked Flemeth that very question and she merely laughed at me. It is not inconceivable that she could capture a chastened man, or perhaps change to a more attractive form to attract him willingly. I find it more difficult to imagine her with child. She was not always as old as she is now, was she? As a matter of fact, I remember her being younger once. She had black hair, much like my own, long and lustrous. But how could that be if she is centuries old? Has she become wizened only recently? Or are the tales of her legend only that, and nothing more? I do know the tales of Flemeth having many daughters, even though I have never met another. And Flemeth has always treated me as her blood. What if you have real family out there? I would have nothing in common with them, nor any need for what they might provide. Flemeth taught me everything I needed to learn. How to survive, the meaning of power, the truth of men. If other mothers do not teach these things, then I believe them the lesser. Now I see where you get it from. I shall take this as a compliment. Was it meant as such? Of course. Oh? How interesting. You agree that love is a weakness, then? Take yourself. You do not honestly desire such things from me, do you? It is better to be free of such cloying and cluttering delusions as love. You're right. Love is so unnecessary. There. I am glad you agree. I tire of this discussion. Let us move on, shall we? It is cold in my tent all alone. Then get a thinker blanket. <laughs> I was thinking a warm body next to mine might be even better. Oh? Well, why didn't you say so? Good. Then let us waste no more time with foolish talk. <laughs> 